Hi there! In today's tutorial, you're going to learn how to create the Spider-Man text effect in Photoshop. So let's get started. I'm going to create a 1920 by 1080 pixels document in RGB color mode and 300 pixels resolution and hit create. For the text effect, I need to install two patterns and for that I need to go to window and then select patterns from there. By the way, you'll find a link in the description to download these patterns as well as the fonts I've used in this tutorial for free in case you want to practice along. Let's drag the patterns panel out and click the burger menu on top right and then select import patterns. You can now locate the pattern files from your computer and holding command on a Mac or control on a PC, select both the files and hit open. Now you can see the file sitting inside the panel, so let's tuck it back to its place. Let's click the lock icon of the background layer to unlock it and then right click this unlocked layer and choose blending options from the menu. We need to add the dark pattern that we installed a few seconds ago and style it a bit. Click the gradient overlay option on the left and update the blending mode to linear burn opacity to 20% and then click the gradient editor. I'll just need two color stops here so let me pull the rest of the stops out. Now click the stop on the left and then click the color once and using the color picker pick the white color by taking it to extreme top left corner and hit OK. Now pick the color stop on the right to select it and then click the color once to open the color picker and this time drag the picker to extreme bottom left to pick the black color. Hit OK to come out of the gradient editor. Change the style to radial. Ensure that your angle is set to zero degree and the ditho box is checked. Now click the pattern overlay option on the left. Update the blending mode to normal and opacity to 100%. Click the pattern box and choose the dark wall pattern that we installed in the beginning of this tutorial. Ensure to have the angle set to zero and scale to 100%. Now hit OK to come out of the layer style. Select the text tool and change the font to aromatics and let's change the font size to 250 points. Let's see if it's gonna fit in properly. And also the font color to white. Actually, let's select bold italics as the font style. And then click once on the screen and type in Spidey in capital letters. I think I'll have to lower the font size to accommodate the text. And then place it in the center of the screen the pink lines will help you place it to the center. Right click the text layer and select blending options. Now focus on the steps as all our work will happen here and this effect is nothing but styling the layers with different styles. Let's start with selecting pattern overlay on the left. Let the blend mode be normal and opacity be 100%. Click on the pattern box and choose the spidey pattern. Also update the scale to 25%. This will add the main red Spider-Man pattern to your text. Now let's move on to gradient overlay. Update the blend mode to multiply. Change the opacity to 14%. And then click the gradient box to create the gradient fill. Select the left color stop and click the color and change it to black. Now select the right color stop and click the color and change it to white. Change the style to linear and angle to minus 90 degrees. Also ensure that the ditho box is checked. This effect will help achieve a transition from a slightly dark effect on the left to a brighter zone on the right. Next let's add color overlay to our text. Update the blending mode to multiply. Click on the color box and enter the color code E10505. Let the opacity be 100%. The color overlay will slightly darken the main texture to add some richness to the effect. Let's click satin style. 
and update the blend mode to linear dodge. Click the color box and update the color code to FFE B0D. Change the opacity to 100%, angle to 0 degree, distance to 4 pixels, and style to 16 pixels. Uncheck the invert box and anti aliased box if checked. Saturn adds a yellow and orange glow around the Spidey texture. It's time to add an outer glow, so let's click it. Let's change the blend mode to normal, opacity to 100%, technique to precise. Let the spread be 0%, but update the size to 8 pixels. Next, update the range to 55% and let the jitter be 0%. Now select the radio button next to the gradient and then click the gradient to reveal the gradient editor. The opacity on the right is set to 0, so we need to change that first. Let's click the top right stop once and then update the opacity to 100%. If yours is already set to 100%, you do not have to do this. Now we can see both the opacity stops on top, on both the corners are black, which means both are set to 100% opacity now. Click the left color stop once and change the location to 21%. Click the color once and update the color code to 111, 111 and hit OK. Now click just under the gradient bar once to add another color stop and change its location to 48%. Then click the color once and update the color code to 177 ECE and hit OK. Lastly, click the color stop on the extreme right and update its location to 73%. Now click on the color once and update the color code to 9AD AFF and then hit OK. And hit OK once again to come out of the gradient editor. This will add a blue gradient around the text to go along with the Spidey color theme. Now let's add inner shadow to our text. So click on it and update the blending mode to linear burn and then click the color box and update the color code to 01, 01, 01. Change the opacity to 30%. Uncheck the use global light if checked and ensure that the angle is set to minus 90 degrees. Update the distance to six pixels, choke to 0% and size to zero pixel. Inner shadow adds a 3D effect to the style. Now let's move on to inner glow. Update the blending mode to screen and opacity to 71%. Let the noise be 0%. Click the color once and update the color code to FFE B0D. Let the technique be softer source be edge, choke to be set to 0%, size to 5 pixels, range should be set to 50% and jitter 0%. Inner glow adds a thin yellow stroke around the texture. Moving on, let's add stroke and update the size to 2 pixels, position to outside, Blending mode should be set to normal, opacity to 100%. Update the fill type to gradient from the drop down list. Let the gradient style be linear and angle 90 degrees. Check the dither box if not checked already. Now click the gradient and then click once on the left color stop and set its location to 12%. Now click the color once and set the color code to 003669 and hit OK. Click once just under the gradient bar to add a color stop and change its location to 
and then click the color and update the color code to BCE BFF and hit OK. Add a third color stop and change its location to 52%. Now click the color and update the color code to 003669 and hit OK. Add a fourth color stop and change its location to 83%. Click the color and update the color code to BCE BFF and hit OK. Now click the color stop on the extreme right and change its location to 96% and click the color and update the color code to 003669 and hit OK. And hit OK once again to come out of the gradient editor. The stroke option will add small blue shiny lines around the text as you can see. Time to add bevel and emboss so click it once. Let the style be in a bevel. Technique be smooth. And update the depth to 100%. Set the direction to up size to 18 pixels and soften to 0 pixel. Update the angle to 110 degrees. Uncheck the use global light box if checked and let the altitude be 30 degrees. Now click the highlight mode and change it to linear dodge and then click the color and update the color code to FFC 000 and hit OK. Now change the opacity to 26%. Click the shadow mode and change it to linear burn. Then click the color and update the color code to 0A2A40 and hit OK. And also change its opacity to 20%. Click the texture option which is part of bevel and emboss and then click the pattern box and choose the spidey pattern. Also update the scale to 25% and then depth to 120%. Inner bevel with texture adds more depth into the red spidey pattern. And finally, click the drop shadow option and update the blend mode to normal. Click the color and update the color code to 001 E2D. Change the opacity to 100%. Angle should be set to 120 degrees. And uncheck the use global light. Change the distance to 3 pixels. Spread to 100% and size to 11 pixels and then hit OK. Actually I made a spelling mistake here. There should be an E before a Y. No worries, we can add that now. So let's grab the text tool and add an E here. I'll have to reduce the text size a bit and let's center align it. And there you go. The Spider-Man text effect is ready. Alright guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video and have learned something new from it. So do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Until we meet again, goodbye and thanks for watching.